Are you proud of your players? Uh, the strategic plan worked almost to perfection until the end for you, right? Well, our plan against a team like Man City is very complicated, the game plan, I mean. Uh, you have to play. You have to try to play as close to their area as possible. A good thing about our game is that we were able to hurt them. We didn't have. We had the chance to score a second goal, but we missed uh, some chances. Uh, with, with one and one, we also had. Uh, the chance to score another goal and we missed it but we overall I think we played a good game it's not easy to to, to create chances against City I believe we are we missed a few chances that the goalkeeper saved and we lacked some kind of clinical finishes up front but uh, you have to be sure that they are going to score at least one goal per game because they, they 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 get so close to the to the your area all the time, and so you need to make two goals in order to beat them. Mister Julio Moñó, para Morena, hay una diferencia evidente en presupuesto. There's a difference in budgets, but we didn't see that difference, that huge difference difference on the pitch. Uh, I agree that you could hurt, you did hurt City quite a lot. Well, players in this kind of game, they change their mentality. They, 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 they have they believe they're important, they believe they are good. And it happens more often than in different games. It's a huge competition, you have a huge rival, a very powerful rival in front of you. And against a good team, it's not easy to, 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 to beat. We have good footballers, and when they are properly mentalized and they have the proper motivation, they as they have shown in the Europa League, where they, you know, they, they've won many titles. We lost against them, but we did have our chances. We created danger, and we were good. But the good thing about today is that we competed really well overall. Our mentality was good too. Uh, you know, our job as a technical as a technical staff is to maintain that same mentality for the rest of the games, for the next games at hand, which is not always easy. I wanted to ask you about a very near future because you know, you've been, we've been talking about Bono. I heard you say that he's got, he's almost out of the club. Are you worried about what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks? Yes. Well, it's the, the it's not knowing what's going to happen until the first of September. Who could arrive? Who could leave? Etc. And it's a pity. I, I've said it a thousand times. I just can't understand how this is organized the way it is, but it is what it is, and, and, and end of story. I don't know who will be in our squad at the end of the market. So after the last season, I had some good footballers, and I would love them to stay, even if nobody else arrived, but it's very complicated to maintain some footballers uh, these days. They, you, you've been... Uh, you know, contacted from clubs left, right, and centre, and and it will be normal if they left. You know, I've spoken. They, they, they speak to players before they speak to the club. You know, and they have agree. They they have agreements with the players where they should actually go to the club first. But you know, facing that, it's very complicated. And we're talking about players that have a two-year contract, for example, and that he's having contacts with other clubs. So I don't really understand this kind of thing. Well, you know, some people talk about you know uh, uh, problems in that respect, but I just don't see why this should happen. Out of curiosity, the moment you substitute Eric Lamela 
Obviously, at first, he is not very pleased with the substitution. I want to know if you think the footballer felt confidence enough to, to, to kick a penalty, and so you, you kind of hug him and have a few words with him after substitution, after substituting him. Well, I, I decided to to replace him because, well, uh, I mean, he would have kicked the penalty if he had stayed on, but uh, it's my mistake because he would have kicked the penalty for sure. I made a mistake there because, well, and, and the player I, I played in, uh, to, to replace him, I thought he would have kicked, could have kicked a penalty as well. And, well, it wasn't the case. So it was my mistake to replace uh, Lamela there. No, no, I, I was not. I'm not trying to criticize your actions. Well, I, I'm telling you because it is what it is. But I, 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 I thank you for your sincerity and uh, congratulations for a good game. Any other questions? Good, eve, good night. Good evening. Uh, maybe it, uh, do I, should I understand that Suso didn't want to kick the penalty? Well, that's all I have to say. Thank you and good night.